So hey, I'm here with Ben from Coppola. Did I pronounce it correctly? You did, you did. Yeah, great. And you do flat packaging for takeout food. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. So this so this is our flat and flexible takeaway packaging. Yeah. Um, so imagine you are a food service retailer. You'll get it on a reel. You'll tear it off. You'd fill it at this end like a pouch, like right. normal packaging. Seal it up. And the customer takes it away with the food in. They sit down. They rip it open, and then when they're ready to eat it, they just fold it into a bowl to eat right. it. To eat it on the go. That is a very clever design, I think. So, what's the material in this as you're using it now? So, this is our marketing model, which made of a cellulose-based bioplastic. So yeah. this, and it's a treated board as well. So it's right. So it is compostable in the finished system, and elsewhere it's industrially compostable. So in this version, you can actually throw it on the compost and it will just degrade into, into soil. Correct. Interesting, yeah. So how has it gone for you so far? Are, people, are the food companies or the restaurant outlets interested? They're very interested. I mean, the bit that we enjoy is when it, when it folds out. Yeah. So you present this to somebody, they're like, oh, what's that? Yeah, yeah. And then you fold it into the bowl, they're like, oh, we can see a use for it. Yeah. So our target markets, being the food service, being the travel caterers, and the quick service retailers, yeah, they're, they're interested. Which because I can imagine it can save a lot of space for somebody going on a on a delivery yes ride to of customers. Course, of course, and you consider like your takeaway pizza boxes or your Chinese takeaway mm. cartons that takes up a lot of space in the lorry to be mm. delivered to the retailer. Mm. This is flat. Yeah, it's a lot more space saved. Yeah, a lot less CO two, less emissions, yeah. etc. Well, you're addressing a huge problem with online food delivery growing as it yes. is. Yes. Interesting. Correct. Well, uh, what's next for you? So what's next for us? We're due to launch into Finland in 2019. Okay. And then after that, it's uh, the Benelux. We have a travel catering supplier on board in, in the Benelux region. Right. Um, and we'll be scaling with them, hopefully. And then after that, other European markets and then yeah. Japan. That's yeah. where we'd like to end up as well because okay. of the origami based folding right yeah yeah of course it will suit well for the japanese yeah. market well let's ask a little bit of a personal question is there something that we maybe did not know about you about me so i'm a squash player I'm and squash. i i know i may not look it but i'm in the top 50 in finland at the moment oh my and i used to i used to be nationally ranked back in the uk and i'm hoping once I get my citizenship to play for the Finnish national team. Okay. One day. So, so then you're quick and have good reflexes. I am. I have to. It could be helpful in a startup as well. I yes. Think yes. Being agile. Yeah. Which translates exactly. out to a squash court. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, final question. If you got to push a button and then you will get anything you wanted to grow your company, what would it be? It's a good question. I think if, as you're asking me now, we would like to work with some material providers who can because we don't develop this material right. ourselves and to have that wonder solution that everybody's looking yeah, for yeah, that yeah. we can then innovate into take it onto the next level yeah so a paper-based bio a, 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 even more bio-based solution for this would cool. be the dream so bio-based material manufacturers if you're out there reach out yes great come grab a game of squash perfect thank you <laughs> yes